హాయ్ ఐఎమ్ గణేష్ మలేర్ ఐఎమ్ ఐఎమ్ ఏ రిసెర్చ్ స్కాలర్ ఇన్ ఐఐటి గడకు అంజ అండ్ ప్రొఫెసర్ అజయ్ సిట్పారా అండ్ ఐఎమ్ వర్కింగ్ ఇన్ ఫ్యాబ్రికేషన్ ఆఫ్ మైక్రో టూల్స్ యూసింగ్ మైక్రో ఈటీఎం వెల్కమ్ టు ద లెక్స్ రౌన్ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ టు మెకానికల్ మైక్రో మెషినింగ్ ఇన్ ద లాస్ట్ క్లాసెస్ యూ హ్యావ్ స్టడీ డిఫరెంట్ కైండ్స్ ఆఫ్ మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చరింగ్ ప్రాసెసెస్ మెషినింగ్ స్ట్రాటజీస్ అండ్ ఆల్ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ యూ విల్ బీ స్టడీయింగ్ how to fabricate an end mill cutting tool that's in micro dimensions so the what is the popular uh, tool fabrication process in the macro region actually it's called grinding tool grinding the the what, the tool grinding process is not much reliable in the case of micro machining of cutting tools why is that the tool grinding process is a contact type process so there will be always cutting uh, that uh, contact between the tool and the workpiece so while dealing with very small cutting tools in the micro dimensions uh, if there is high cutting force or the contact force uh, on the cutting tool there will be or the on the workpiece there will be chance of breakage so th- that's not easy to make cutting tools using uh, grinding so we need a process which is not contact like in non contact type uh, which is capable of machining the cutting tools there are different processes like that one 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 example is laser other example is fib that focus ion beam machining and the popular example for non contact type machining process is a uh, electro discharge machining or edm so in this lecture we will be demonstrating how to machine a micro and mill tool using edm that's micro edm okay and uh, why we are using micro edm or what is the speciality of an edm process so, so for that i will explain shortly like uh, how a edm process works so there will be a, a tool electrode there will be a workpiece in this case this is our and mill tool blank okay so what happens this two will be the two electrodes will be must be electrically conductive and this will be connected to a dc power supply one will be connected to the positive terminal and one will be connected to the negative terminal and there will be dielectric fluid in this case it's called edm3 oil and there will be dielectric supply in between the tool and the workpiece and the dc power supply as the uh, the voltage increases there will be a critical voltage above which there will be dielectric breakdown and the electron starts to flow through uh, from the cathode to anode continuously that flow of electrons we will see as a discharge and this discharge is actually capable of melting and vaporizing material from the workpiece okay so this discharges so the what is the advantage we can machine any type of material any hard material which is which are electrically conductive okay so this discharges we are trying to make use of this discharges to make micro and mill tools okay uh, so this is our in this class we will be demonstrating how to use the make use of the discharges to make micro and mill tools so what is our a uh, strategy here uh, today like we will be first designing a micro and mill tool and fabricating the micro and mill tool using edm to to fabricate the micro and mill tool we must know the what is the capability of the machine we have machine tool we have so first is the design of and mill tool so for that we will be using make use of a modeling software in this case solid works so this is actually a uh, 200 micron uh, micro and mill tool which in which this is two fluted micro and mill tool so you can see uh, this two fluids are available as so comparing to the micro and mill tools or and mill tools uh, with a complex shape in this case the shape is much simpler so but it's effective because uh, like making a very complex fluids on 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 a micro dimension is very difficult so 
in this case what we are doing is we are making a micro anvil tool which is simple in shape but it's effective okay uh, so this is a two flute micro anvil tool with of 200 micron diameter so we have designed this previously and find out what must be the dimension this is has a 200 micron diameter and 0.5 mm that is 500 micron length okay so we have done the designing part and we found out what what is the position of the flank what what is the what must be the uh, dimensions of the flank and and all so after designing we must know how we can make the design on the uh, workpiece blank so for that we must know what is the capability of the machine tool we have we have here a machine tool uh, it's called it's the uh, it's supplied by micro tools and this is micro tools dt110 hybrid micro edm machine okay so uh, what is the capability of this machine this is maximum it has maximum travel of 200 uh, micro uh, mm in x y z x uh, y it's 100 mm and z is 100 mm so very small dimensions but uh, it's it's enough for a micro edm machining uh, position accuracy is plus or minus 1 micron per 100 mm position feedback system why we must need a position feedback system for a as explained in the previous classes we must need a position feedback system while we are dealing with very micron dimensions because we don't know like in 1 micron is a or 10 micron is a very big uh, dimension in, in case of a micro machining system the slide straightness plus or minus 2 micron per 100 mm uh, over the like plus or minus 0.5 micron over any 25 mm of travel okay and what are the machining uh, what are the parts of the machine we have spindle this which we are con will be connecting the tool electrode or uh, and uh, and work table in which we will be uh, setting our work power supply a dc power supply like that's a pulsed power supply and uh, dielectric supply that dielectric fluid i uh, told you before that's edm3 oil we are using and access control system okay these are the main parts of the machine tool okay and uh, as i uh, told you before the edm the process of edm is actually a non contact process the discharge is uh, the responsible for the material removal okay so what is the machining parameters here the pa machining parameters are one is voltage and that the uh, in our machine tool the range is from 80 to 130 volt next is capacitance this is an rc pulse supply so that the the main thing we will be varying here is voltage and capacitance so the voltage is 80 to 130 volt capacitance we can change from 10 picofarad to 400 nanofarad and we can change spindle speed and we can define the feed rate and uh, two polarities we can set as I told you like we are, the tool and uh, workpiece will be connected to the DC power supply either it can be uh, the tool can be positively uh, I mean workpiece can be positive or the tool can be positive that's a positive polarity or negative polarity uh, so what happens as we increases the voltage and capacity that's what happens if we change the parameters machining parameters so if we are increasing the voltage and capacitance what happens is we will demonstrate it later and uh, i'm uh, telling you what happened uh, happening is the discharge energy the total discharge energy will be increasing so the dis as the discharge energy increases the uh, more material will be carved out from the workpiece so that the crater size will be increasing as the crater size increases or the more material is removing the mrr will be increasing but that will be uh, affecting the surface quality so the surface quality will be diminishing or surface roughness will be increasing so that's how the machining parameters will affect the whole uh, machining outputs okay so finally we know what's the what's the what is the machine tool we are using uh, we know what are the machining parameters we have and uh, uh, finally we are defining what will be our strategy for fabrication the fabrication of the micro tool okay 
So the tool fabrication strategy start, starting with a blank, we are reducing the diameter of the blank from 0.5 mm to 0.2 mm using a process called electro discharge grinding. Electro discharge grinding is very much similar to EDM. So only the thing is like we have a block, we have a tungsten carbide block and we are using, we are the tool material is also tungsten carbide and we will be uh, doing a, a, a operation in which uh, like the, the standard piece we will be moving uh, with touching the, uh, I mean uh, like I mean, with uh, along with the uh, tungsten carbide block in the, in that time the diameter of the 0.5 mm tungsten carbide rod will be reducing it to 0.2 mm. That's a electro discharge grinding process. Here you can see this is a tungsten carbide block. The black one is the tungsten carbide block and this is the tool which we are using or the, the micro and the blank of the micro end mill tool and we have reduced the diameter to 0.2 mm from 0.5 mm. Okay. The next process is we want to make the flanks, flanks on the on this tool. So how to make that? We are uh, just plunging the tool down. I mean we are taking the tool from the spindle and we are keeping on the workpiece and on the on the uh, end mill tool blank we are uh, making two flanks by plunging another tool from the two sides. So that uh, in the finally we will get uh, a micro end mill tool uh, over on the on a uh, base and there are, will be two flanks on the two sides of it. So this, these two things, these two sides can be worked as a, can be worked as a uh, uh, tool edge or the cutting edge. And while rotating, this cutting edge can remove material and it can perform as a micro end mill tool. So this is the whole strategy of fabrication. So uh, the fabrication strategy start from micro uh, like EDG to reduce the diameter to from 0.5 to 0.2 mm and making two flanks and the two uh, sides of it so that we will get a two flute and mill very sim as a simple size simple uh, shape but two flute micro and mill tool. As a next step uh, I will be demonstrating the whole process of fabrication of micro and mill tool as we explained here. So for that, uh, the first we will, I will introduce the user interface to the machine. This is actually the micro tools DT110 hybrid micro EDM. So here you, you can see uh, there, there is a panel in which there, this is just like a CNC machine. The panel you will be uh, familiar if you know any, uh, if you are familiar with any kind of a CNC machine. The, Panel is almost same. There is a MPG mode in which we will be controlling manually, jog mode, and uh, uh, MDI mode in which we will be putting uh, manual data inputs, and auto mode we will be writing program and we will be performing the program. Okay, so the EDM parameters we will control by this panel actually. So what you can see, there is a polarity polarity uh, icon in which we can change the polarity to positive or negative. That means here it shows work positive now. If I am putting, so first for that we have to start the uh, power supply. Power, now the power is on and we can change the polarity to tool positive or work positive. So that usually uh, the the tool will be connected to the spindle and the workpiece will be kept in the work, work table. So we can change work positive or tool positive accordingly using this icon. We can change the capacitance from, so it is a coded value from 0 to 6 so that the uh, 10 picofarad to 400 nanofarad we can change. Uh, so from 0 to 6 actually the coded value for that. And we can change the voltage from 80 volt to 130 volt just like sliding this one. And uh, this is all, all uh, about the setting parameters, machining parameters. So first step will be, we will be uh, finding out what is the optimum parameters for machining and we will set the parameters. So the first step will be finding out the optimum parameters for machining 
and we are setting the machining parameters here in this window. After that, we have to for uh, the first as you uh, if you remember, uh, the first step is to reduce the dimension uh, of the blank EDM tool blank from 0.5 mm to uh, 0.2 mm. That's 500 micron to 200 micron. So for that we have to uh, find out like we have to do uh, we have to select a blank micro uh, for for micro end mill tool. So uh, starting with what we are doing here is we are start our, our we are selecting a uh, blank as a co commercially available 0.5 mm or 500 micron end mill tool. On the surface of that, what we are doing is we are flattening the surface out, uh, on the top to remove all the uh, available features and we are flattening the top and over that we are making our own end mill cutting tool. That's like micro end mill tool. Okay. Uh, and uh, this micro end mill tool, uh, so why we are using a uh, blank of like commercially available tool that will be easily uh, like easily can be put into the spindle, put into the collar, the collars are available. That's the only reason we are using that and our actual tool will be on the top of that just like a pencil carving. Okay. As the next step, I will demonstrate the whole setup, whole experimental setup to you and will demonstrate the machining process. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, see uh, what is the setup for uh, fabrication of micro and mill tools. Okay. So from here, I think you, you, you will be seeing there is a spindle and, and there is a workpiece which is, uh, which is set up on the bench, uh, on the vise. Okay. Uh, the both material for the tool blank and the, the, uh, like the, the standard piece is tungsten carbide. So what we are going, doing here, there will be, a, there is a block and there is a tool, uh, the tool blank. And we will be just touching the tool, tool blank first to find out the, the point, the touching point. That will be done using a contact probe method. After that, uh, to reduce from 0.5 mm to 0.2 mm, 0.5 mm to 0.2 mm, we will be mo moving 150 micro universe. And we will be moving along this direction so that the sparking will be occurring between the tool and this standard piece or the tungsten carbide block and the dimension will be reducing from 500 micron to 200 micron because why it's going inside by 150 micron and it's rotating so that 300 micron will be taken from the outer waist and the left and what what will be left 200 micron diameter okay this is just like a turning process but the whole, there is no tool available no cutting tool available or the whole machining is done by the sparks okay uh, then I, uh, if uh, to get a more uh, fine view we will be changing the view to the microscopes then uh, we will get how the machining happens and how the sparks will be responsible for the machining okay so, uh, for a better view, uh, we will be changing the view to the microscopes because we are dealing with very small dimensions and micro, in micro dimensions. So, uh, by naked eye, it will, the process will not be much visible. So, the whole process we will see as in the microscopes. So, here you can see the, the micro commercially available for fluid micro and mill tool which we are going to use as a uh, blank, blank for our original the micro and mill tool which we are going to make and here you can see the flanks and all what we are going to do is we are flattening out the top, the bottom of it we are reducing the diameter into 200 micron and after that we will be do the doing the plunging and all okay so uh, there are uh, two cameras actually we are using so one camera is this one or one microscope ca microscope camera is this one and another is uh, so there are two cameras we are using one is this one and one is attached to the machine 
so this is a digital microscope camera and that one is a charge coupled device ccd microscope okay uh, to explain that you can see here so this is a ccd microscope which is this is actually the shadow of the hall tool available so you have seen the original uh, end mill tool which is connected there and uh, which, which has shown there and this is actually the shadow image of this in this actually we can measure the uh, the so i am just trying to rotate this one so now you can see it's so i will rotate in very slow manner this is actually the micro and mill tool which we are we have shown there so you can see the flute and all so what is why we are using this one so after making the tool or while while doing the manufacturing process we we, we are not sure the the dimensions are correct or not so uh, if frequently we have to check the dimensions in the uh, uh, in the microscope how to do that we can actually capture the this shadow image uh, capture the shadow image and just like here you can capture it and that will be shown in the the figure so and we can measure the dimensions that is a measuring system and we can measure the dimensions and here you can see the length is showing for it around 500 micron which we are uh, originally using it okay and uh, so this is so this purpose we are using a the ccd camera and the 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 software which is uh, connected to it okay uh, so this so what we have told like we have using two cameras for measurements and to view what's happening what is it uh, correct or not the the process is correct or not any any problem with the process okay if so everything is ready two cameras are ready for the measurement and the uh, to, for observation and uh, uh, the machine tool is available for it so before starting the machining we have to find out the the points uh, the 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 uh, boundaries of machining like where 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 we have to start the machining for that we have to use a contact probe method the contact probe is method is nothing but it will find out the the point the touching point by when the sh shorting occurs we will be moving uh, very near to the uh, near to the standard piece or the tungsten carbide block and as it touches the the block then what happens that there will be some shorting and that point will be taken as the contact point so that what we will be doing uh, just remember we will be touching and we will be moving 150 micron inwards and we will be moving in uh, in y direction so like in one other direction so that it will the diameter will be reducing okay so next i will explain how to use the contact probe method <coughs> so i am changing into mdi mode so the manual mode and
So uh, in this you can see from the microscope that the tool is approaching the uh, tungsten carbide block and once the, uh, the, it touches the tungsten carbide block, the program here uh, is stopped. Like I have written a skip function program so that as it touches the, uh, touches the tungsten carbide block, this stops. And that point we will take in as the starting point and we will move uh, inside 150 micron and move alongside so that we, it will be machining into the required dimensions. So, so this is the the point has been set into the uh, the contact point has been find out using the contact probe method and that set into the zero. Uh, then we we have to move 150 micron inwards and we will be doing the machining. Okay. Uh, so we have to write a program for that and we will be writing in an auto mode. So, this is very much similar to all the CNC programming methods and CNC programming machines or see all the CNC machines. We will be rotating this clockwise in 2500 RPM and we are uh, moving x into my uh, 150 micron inwards and After that we will be moving in y direction phi mm. So here feed is 0.3 and we are moving phi mm in y and 0.15 mm in x and we are stopping the spindle, that is all about it. So before starting, we have to set up the electrical parameters first. We will be starting the power. We are changing into number 4 and uh, uh, increasing the voltage to 100. Okay, so here and we have set the uh, program, we have set the electrical parameters. Now we have to start the dielectric fluid. The dielectric fluid is very much necessary to perform the uh, operation. So the fluid is flowing, flowing in between and yeah, so everything is set, Di the discharge, uh, the dielectric fluid is flowing and the, the electrical connections are ready 
and we are just going to start the machining process. Okay, now you can see from here from the microscope that there is sparking occurring between the blank and the block. So, as it goes 150 micron and moving into the y direction, the, the dimension, the diameter will be changing from 0.5 mm to 0.2 mm and we will be reversing the tool down and we will be plunging the, the fluids on the uh, blank tool bank. So, for uh, to explain what happens if, uh, if I am increasing the or changing the machining parameters, I can explain you if I am changing the electrical power here. So, you can uh, see that the discharge, the discharge energy increasing or the spark uh, intensity is increasing. So, I, as I am increasing the, the voltage and capacitance, we can see a very heavy sparks on it and as I am decreasing the capacitance, the sparks decreases. That, that what I am told like if you are, if we are increasing the capacitance and voltage, the, the discharge energy increases, the crater dimensions increases and the surface roughness will be increasing, uh, the MRR will be increasing but the surface roughness will be uh, also increasing like the surface quality will be diminishing. So, this will be the process and but this, this is a uh, micro EDM or EDM process in all ways, it is not, it is very time taking process compared to the uh, com, uh, conventional machining processes. So, uh, this will t uh, take much time for machining and uh, as a next step we will be showing the, the machine tool. So, uh, the final machine tool which we are going to use as a micro end mill tool. Thank you.